Welcome to David and Dawn's California trip 2013 and 14. And we landed at the airport at 6 o'clock in the morning thanks to Rob. <laughs> and then we prayed in the meditation room that we'd have a safe trip at the Albany airport. Sun is coming up. Happy to see that. Liftoff is taken. We flew on Southwest. Notice the red airplane wings. And I'm bright eyed and bushy tailed. <laughs> Then we landed in Los Angeles and picked up our Toyota Camry. Yay! Then we drove up the PCH. And now this. Alright, here we are. Day one of our 24-day vacation. Just arrived in California. We're going up Pacific Coast Highway. And as you can see, the sunset is greeting us with a beautiful collage of colors. What do you have to say, Dancing Dawn? Certainly Thanks for tuning in to our daily video blog of our California trip. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Then, this is the reason we went. The beach. There we are, the first day. Oh, and dancing as well. We went to this place a lot. This is called Borderline in Thousand Oaks, and it's salsa night. <laughs> about amazing fruits and vegetables in California, so here's an example, at Soup Plantation for Rebecca's birthday. We had lots of fun. David, it's day 24 of our California trip 2013 and one of the things we were concerned about when coming to California was the traffic but as you can see we're moving along fine here and uh, what we like is that people generally do things they go to the speed limit and there's lots of distance between the cars so there's a lot of cars and there's a lot of lanes but it feels generally pretty safe now we've gotten a few times where it's slowed down or it's pretty much out but for the most part, it's been in like this almost everywhere we've driven Florence, in California. Florence Avenue and Manchester Boulevard. Thanks. See you in the next video. That was our GPS girl. <laughs> when we weren't in our cars, we were enjoying some beautiful flowers and hiking. We were watching out for all kinds of animals there. This is the backyard at Ron's house where we had fun in the doom buggy. All right, here's Dancing Dawn on the go kart. Southern California 2013. Here she goes up the hill. Let's see if she can make it. Go, go. First gear. Go, go. Oh, she got stuck. Oh, roll it back. <laughs> see what happens now. First gear, baby. Or reverse. Watch out for the tree. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's fun, huh? What, what happened going up the hill? I think I was in second. Yeah, you gotta go to first. Yep. You can shift on the fly. Huh? You can shift on the fly.
<laughs> We're at Agape Spiritual Center in LA. There's a farmer's market outside the church every Sunday. Hey everybody, Don and David back here again. And right now we're at the Agape International Spiritual Center in Culver City. How was the ceremony? Oh, it was incredible. We really enjoyed it. Something we've been looking for for a long time. And um, I would recommend it. They stream it so you can actually join them every Sunday. This is day seven of our trip. So everybody's very friendly here. And the weather is incredible. I'm in short sleeve, everybody else is. It's like 60 some degrees for New Yorkers. We're like, this is warm. So outside the Agape Center, they have like a festival going on with all kinds of vendors and things. It's kind of like a happening market. And food. We just had lunch and uh, it was great. They say... And there was lots of dancing and soulful music. Yes, that was. Yeah. And one thing that I liked a lot about um, Reverend Michael's presentation is he, he embodied and talked about a lot of things that we've read about in books like The Secret and other books like Wayne Dyer and stuff. That he was talking about it live and with other people and just feeling the energy of everybody being on that vibe, which was very cool. Well, Reverend Michaels is actually one of the gentlemen, sort of the spiritual leaders, who was in the secret, the movie itself. So we got to see him and experience him. He's incredible. And, and now we're off to the drum circle on Venice Beach. Yes, and there's a place here where you eat, and it's called. Uh, don't panic, it's organic. <laughs> I thought that was great. Bye. All right. Bye. On our way to Venice Beach, we found a Tesla, which is an all-electric car built in California. It's our new car. And I had a lot of weight on my head that day. Hey everybody, it's David, Dancing David, and we're on our trip in California in 2013, and while you're back home in New York, driving in your cars, looking at lights, we're walking down the streets looking at the lights here in Moore Park, California, and as you can see, uh, the families really knew how to decorate, and uh, there's families walking all around, and this neighborhood is just Looks a little bit like Las Vegas, as you can see. And we're here, we have lots more, and it goes around and around and around and around and around. Anyway, see you next time. Bye. And then we celebrated Christmas at Diana's house with all the kids, and Ron and I played Santa. <laughs> and Dawn decorated trees and climbed the trees. Took the kids ice skating that day for their gift. There are a lot of creative arts and things on Venice Beach, as you can see. And then the sun went down. That's in the other place. This is Santa Monica, right next to Venice Beach. Then we went to the Third Street Promenade, which is a closed off street. Everybody, it's Dance and David. This is day 11 of our California trip, 2013. We're at the Third Street Promenade here in Santa Monica, California. And it's uh, one day after Christmas and everybody's walking around shorts and t-shirts and having a lot of fun. 
just had a great deal, a uh, great dinner at a Greek restaurant down the street, outside of course. It's very nicely decorated and safe, friendly, warm place to be. See you in the next video. We're going dancing at the Hacienda, West Coast Swing. 20 years it's been going on every single week at LAX. Guess what? The largest Apple store ever. Ta da! Hey everybody, it's Nancy Davis tonight. We're at the Hacienda Hotel here in Los Angeles, just outside LAX. As you can see, we're having a great time with West Coast Swing, Two Step, and Hustle. We've got a packed dance floor out here. All kinds of people of all different ages having a great time. Bringing through some Michael Jackson and other great music. We've got three dance floors here. It's a pretty cool place. Come out to La Hacienda if you're in Los Angeles. Visit us at WanRomanceLearnDance.com. Take care. Bye bye. Hey, Dancing Dawn, where are we? Well, we're in California somewhere. Headed up to Monterey. And we have beautiful splashing waves and the smell of sea water and ocean water, salt water. And we have that far to go. <laughs> There's the road winding along the, hot, the ocean, 20 miles an hour. Windy, windy, windy. Good thing we have our trusty off. Toyota. Ferrari <laughs> with good brakes. Thank you, Toyota. Thank you, Toyota. See ya. Hi, we stopped really quick on the windy road going up the coast to this really fine art gallery, and they had little bistro, but they're just closing, and we got the sunset, which is incredible. So here's the really windy road, <laughs> and here is the sunset. And we're going up that road further to San Francisco. See you later. Bye. And here's the cool cafe with the fine arts gallery down below. This is a backyard at Kevin's house where we slept. And then here's the farmer's market in San Francisco. Hey everybody, it's Dancing David and Dancing Dawn back again. Hello. This is day 15 of our trip to California 2013. And we just left Kevin's house. Kevin offers his house for rent through Airbnb. And that was our first time using Airbnb. We had a really great time. Then we met people from Australia and China and France. And it was cool, and in his backyard here in San Francisco, up on the hill, he has a forest. Which is awesome because it's nice and quiet and awesome views. And safe and friendly and fun. And uh, so check out Airbnb if you're thinking about traveling and you want to meet new people and have some fun.
And definitely see Kevin if you come to San Francisco. Bye. Once we made it up to the coast, we went to the Hacker Dojo. Oh, that was awesome. And to Google. YouTube. Hey everybody, it's Dan and David. It's day 15 of our California trip 2013 and right now we're here at the Google World Headquarters. As you can see, it's a very cool architecture and uh, all these big, kind of not huge buildings, but nice office buildings connected and by these railways and also just a lot of uh, space here for people to gather. It's kind of like a town square area. And uh, they have these bikes that they take around the campus and it's super sunny and awesome huge blue skies and beautiful palm trees right here in the center and uh, we were hoping to go into the gift store or maybe find a tour but the gift store's not open it's, it's a Sunday right now between Christmas and New Year's so not too many people around but we're here at Google World Headquarters and uh, thanks for taking the tour we'll see you in the next video next to Google there was a park next to the bay and they put it on top of an old dump so they reused some land as you can see they actually have trees here in this part of California which is nice we love birch trees and then we went to San Rafael to a tango dance a tango salon it looked like it was right out of Argentina and here's the mountains of northern San Francisco with our friend JT Hey, welcome back. I'm Dan and David, and this is day 15 of our 2013 California trip. And I'm on top of the mountain here with my good friend JT. Hey, folks, how are you? <laughs> we are just outside of San Francisco, and in the background there is the Pacific Ocean. And as we take a look around here, you'll see the Golden Gate Bridge in the background. And as we continue to go around, we see the North Bay and uh, another city across the bay, which is Oakland. And we keep going around, and this is just an amazing, amazing perspective from the top of the world. So we hope you enjoy. I'll take my self out of the picture so you can enjoy more. There's a light breeze. It's maybe uh, 55 degrees up here. It's December 28th or so. December 30th. December 30th. What you like to say, JT? Hey folks, a lot of clean air and beautiful views from uh, this point here in Mill Valley, California. Welcome to the uh, Pacific Northwest and the beautiful sunset view we have here looking over the Pacific. Going all the way up the coast is uh, Bolinas and the Stinson Beach area. Further up is Point Reyes National Park. And uh, as David continues to go to the right, you'll see Mount Tamalpais. That's the highest peak in Marin. Beautiful views up there as well. So come out and visit us. Thanks, JT, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. And that's Muir Beach, which we would later visit the next day. Catching a little sun. Look at that. We're at the Redwood Forest. Very large trees. Let's see how large they are. Welcome back to day 16 of our California trip 2013. I'm Dancing David. I'm Dancing Dawn, and that's Dancing JT. I'm Dancing JT. Where are we, JT? We are in the Muir Woods National Park in Mill Valley, California, and there are That's spectacular 250-foot yeah. redwood trees all around us and beautiful smells and vistas and lush green landscapes. Running through here is a beautiful stream that is the native spawning ground for coho salmon and steelhead trout. And we're going to have some fish for dinner tonight now that you mentioned it. So come visit us. Come visit the beautiful Muir Woods National Park. So the redwoods grow in groups called circles, family circles. And there's a group right there in front of us. See you in the next video. Bye. Large enough for kissing, obviously. Then we have some really good organic burgers and fries.
This is in Mill Valley. And we visited the Sacramento, which is the headquarter capital of California. We're at the Tango by the River in Old Sacramento. This city was actually brought up 12 feet from what it used to be. And that is a Jim Beam Christmas tree. This is the Salsa Club in Sacramento that we went to, which had a very large disco ball. Oh, this was fun. These were salsa dancers. This guy was hysterical, the teacher. Oh, my God. It was so much fun. Really fun, friendly people. <laughs> Sacramento to head over to Tahoe. So excited. I've always wanted to go to Tahoe. Oh, a day spa, hot springs, pools, jacuzzis, views, views, food, fireplace. Hey, everybody, it's Dance and David. It's 2014, and this is our California trip sum video summary. Today we are just east of Lake Tahoe, and as you can see behind me is the Sierra Mountains, and we are at an outdoor hot springs resort. As you can see behind me over here, there are five or six hot pools with sulfur water, natural coming out of the ground, and it's naturally warm and healing. And uh, we got a beautiful view in the mountains as you saw in the beginning. You can see the prairie out here. And of course, more mountains in the background. We are at David Wally's Resort and Spa. <laughs> Having a great time. So we'll see you soon, we'll see you next video, bye-bye. Then we spent the next day driving around Lake Tahoe. Right now we made our way down. Here we are at the top. <laughs> <laughs> down and then the top. <laughs> A little out of order. This is Cas uh, Emerald Bay in the background. Hey, it's Dance and David. Welcome back. It's day 19. Here we are at Lake Tahoe. This is our second video from Tahoe. And now we're down by the water. As you can see, I'm very close to the water, standing on a pier, actually right on the water. Behind me there is Heavenly Ski Resort. And as we take you around to the north end of the lake, you can see it is a gorgeous, breathtaking scene. The water is crystal clear and amazing. And uh, up here on the hill behind me, we have a awesome, cool lodge called Pine Lodge, where you can hang out and we're actually at a California State Campground and uh, it's pretty cold you know it's 45 degrees the wind is blowing it's a little chilly but it's January 3rd so uh, it's nice it's beautiful the sun is shining come out and check it out see ya in the next video bye bye I like being open so I took lots of pictures of openness everywhere we went and then we went to San Diego and stayed at Airbnb. This is the backyard of the Airbnb. And this is a beach off Coronado Island in San Diego. And we went West Coast Swing Dancing. Hey everybody, I'm Dancing David. Dancing Don. And welcome back to our 2013 West Coast Swing Tour. And we're not only touring California on the West Coast, obviously, but we're also turning all the West Coast Swing Dance communities. And where are we tonight, Dancing Don? We're at this place called Del Tango. Tango Del Rey. Tango Del Rey, but there right. is no tango here. Right. It's West Coast. Check it out. We got this cool second floor, and down on the first floor, it's pretty hard to see in this light, but you get a sense of how cool it is. There's people of all ages and ethnicities having a great time down there. At Tango Del Rey. Check out the decorations in here. What do you think of the decorations, Dancing Dawn? There, you know, the person that um, turned this building over back probably in the 1800s said the city could take it, but they couldn't change anything. And they have not. <laughs> that the cone head from Lake Tahoe got reordered because he's a yogi with time travel skills, obviously. Then we headed back down the west coast of California and found some natural springs. That we hopped in 9.30 in the morning. There's somebody's toes. Oh, they're ours. <laughs>
And there's Dawn sunning and tanning and soaking. Hey everybody, it's Nancy and David. Welcome back to our California trip 2013. I'm here too. Dance and Dawn says hi. Hello. And right behind me you'll see a beautiful gold and green rock that's spouting out very warm water. And so we found the Travertine Hot Springs. And one of the best things about them is this awesome view of the mountains. But really the best thing is quiet, solitary, me you time. Hey baby. Hi sweetheart. Is this nice or what? Uh-huh. This is heavenly. <laughs> so relaxing. Blue sky. 27 degrees out, although the sun makes it feel really quite warmer than that. So we want to thank our Airbnb buddies Lauren and Buddy from Lake Tahoe for telling us about the springs in Bridgeport, California, baby. <laughs> Did you want to say more? Send our trip back to LA. It's a little, you know, break. You know how you go to rest stops on the side of the road? <laughs> well, <laughs> this is the best one we've ever been to. <laughs> Absolutely. Or as they would say in California, totally. <laughs> See you in the next video. We're at Red Rock Canyon, which was gorgeous. We climbed around that a little bit. That's just about two or three hours from L.A., headed down. Here's a, a field full of hundreds and hundreds of windmills, which is really interesting. That's in the Mojave Desert. I just thought this picture was beautiful of the sun coming over the trees. This and is La Jolla. This is their beachfront. Oh, it's gorgeous. Um... Gorgeous La Jolla beachfront with palm trees and everything. And this is the end. Thank you so much for watching our video. We appreciate all the help we had from Rob, Tracy, Deb, Diana, Robbie, Rebecca, Russell, JT, Joyce, and of course, Mom and Dad. <laughs>